This is the Kimco Mongoose 90. And this is made in Taiwan. This is actually not a Chinese made rod. It's the same manufacturer that makes the Kawasaki KFX 90s as well as the trackers that Cabela sells. And we've got about 30 hours on it. It's been a fantastic machine. It's got an electric choke, fires right up every time. It is chain driven. And the boy has really enjoyed riding this thing. It's smooth, it's quick enough, even with the governor still on. But it's been a great ride so far. But we're gonna do a couple speed tests on it and show you what it's like before and after we take the governor off. These four wheelers from the factory come with two different rev limiters. One is an adjustable screw here that adjusts how much throttle the boy can give. So that's the easy one to adjust, but there's also a built-in governor inside of here. And there's a great video out there that shows the process of taking that little bushing off to make it faster. We're gonna remove that in the upcoming days, but before we do, we're gonna do a little before and after. You ready to do a top speed test? Yeah. So we're testing two things. We're gonna do top speed as well as acceleration. So the first test is gonna be top speed. I'm gonna outfit him with a phone with GPS in it and record his top speed while the governor is still on. We've got the screw set to wide open, but the governor is still on. So we're gonna see what that top speed is. To do this, we're using my phone with a app that records your top speed. So I'm gonna hit the record, slide it in his pocket, and let's go. All right, we're gonna hit the record button. All right, slide that in your pocket. All right, buddy, top speed, let's go. That pretty good? Yeah. Let's check it. So we'll hit stop recording here. Now we're gonna go see what the top speed was. Oh, I can already see. 14.2 miles per hour. That's about right. They said it'll be about 13 or 14. So with the governor still on, he made 14.2 mile an hour at top speed. Now we're gonna check the acceleration. Go! Ten point four. I think he was a touch closer this time. So that completes the before test. You went 14.2 miles per hour top speed and your acceleration was between 10.4 and 11.4. So now we know what before we take the governor off is like. Now we're going to take it to Honda get the governor taken off, which I could probably do, but I don't trust myself not to tear up that gasket. So we're gonna let Honda do that professionally. Let's hop into that process, and then we'll come back out and do an after test. Back up at the garage, and crazy as it sounds, we're gonna try to take this speed bushing off ourselves. So first thing we gotta do, take all the plastic off, then we take the housing off, and then we'll get that bushing removed using a 10 millimeter and a Phillips. Got all these screws and bolts out. This one was the hardest. It's the tightest fit to get the wrench back there. So just FYI, that was a little bit difficult. Now using the same 10 millimeter, we're taking these four off the floorboard. This guy should come right off. That was easy. Next thing is to remove this hose clamp. Slide it back, slide that off. Now we're gonna take out the bolts to the cover. Got all the bolts out. Looks like that cover is gonna come right off. I'm gonna leave all my bolts where they're supposed to be. Now we can see in here, we've got our flywheel, we've got our clutch, and you can see our belt now. Next thing we're gonna do is use a 17 millimeter, take this nut off, 
and slide that wheel off and our speed bushing sitting right back here. We've got our 17 millimeter. Now we're gonna take the nut off. No one to hold them, no one to fold them. Despite my best efforts, I could not get that 17 millimeter nut off. I was doing everything correctly with the 38 inch drive impact, would not come off. So I'm gonna take it to Honda, let the professionals do it so I don't break anything. Let's roll. All right, we got it dropped off. First oil change, first service. It's in very capable hands. Didn't wanna break anything. So hopefully we'll have it back in a week or so. Two-day turnaround. That was fast, wasn't it? Yeah. All right, let's go pick this thing up. First test, you going to rip it around the parking lot? Yeah. All right. What was that? That was dirt bike. Dirt bike fast? All right, take it slow and start with, okay? He just ripped that thing for the first time and came back around, slammed on brakes. And I think it scared him a little bit. It's definitely faster. He said it's dirt bike fast. So let's do our speed comparison. We're gonna do acceleration and top speed. So before you could just gun it, but now it's a little too fast. So you gotta slow down a little bit. That's fine. All right, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna put the speedometer in his pocket and we're gonna measure top speed. Go! This thing is definitely faster. All right, let's see what we got here. Oh my word, 24.7. That's 10 mile an hour faster. <laughs> oh my word. You gotta be careful though, for real. That thing's almost twice as fast. I think I'm gonna have to turn that throttle screw down once we are done doing our test out here. Cause we got a lot of bumps and holes in this yard and I don't need him wrecking that thing but certainly worth the money to pop that speed bushing off because now it's 25 mile an hour compared to 14 so pretty wild get set go oh you backed off go whoa acceleration is twice as fast so we're gonna dial that screw back in. Hudson, you are twice as fast. Yeah. That was seven seconds. Actually, it was six point five, and before it was twelve. You're twice as fast. So look, we're gonna to have to adjust this throttle screw and slow you down a little bit. Okay? Is that okay? Yeah. And then once you get more comfortable, we'll open it back up. All right. Go have fun, but be safe. The speed improvement was very unexpected. Some of the videos alluded to the fact that it would almost double the speed, but until you actually get on it and see it, it's kind of hard to comprehend. So very pleased with it. All we had to do was remove the speed bushing and we doubled the performance of this 90. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Something you might can take away if you try it yourself. Good luck taking that 17 millimeter nut off. And if you cannot get it off, go ahead and default back to a professional to take that off. But Either way, we are very pleased with the performance of this ride. He has doubled the speed of it, doubled the acceleration. Now it's time to go have some real fun. Hopefully you learned something from the video. We had a lot of fun making it. As always, thank you and God bless.